Hi, I'm Jacinta and today we're going to be decorating another villager yard on my spring farm court island cornucopia. So today, if you saw my last villager hunt, you would have seen my new villager who is Tipper. And today we're going to decorate her house. And you can see some of my ideas here. We're going to have like a milk stall next to her house. So Tipper is selling her milk. <laughs> I don't know if that's kind of a weird idea but it just works I think so yeah we're going with it <laughs> um, but yeah so we're gonna have it where all these items are piled up which is close to my entrance if you don't know my island layout <laughs> which I don't expect you to I love my villagers um, so yeah we're gonna have it around here and first I guess I better clear some of these items away Okay, now that we've got a blank canvas and a very full inventory, I think first I'll put her house down. I think I want it quite close to the river and I'll have the milk stall on the left hand side. Let's try here though. Okay, it fits. I think this is going to be a good spot. We will hope for the best. Also, I just want to say I love how Tipper's door is blue and the milk carton and some milk custom designs I've got are blue as well. Her house is just perfect for this idea. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with in this little transition spot here, but here's her house and now we have to decide where we want the stall. Do we want it directly next to it or kind of in front? I don't want this cliff to be blocking it, so maybe next to it. Let's see and I'm not sure if I want to use this covered counter again because I feel like I've used it so much, but it is just so cute. I I can't stop using it. I've also got this counter table and that does not go in front of that covered counter does it? But instead of using the covered counter I could use this one as a milk stand. I think I might because I've also got the truck that I'm going to customize with some milk bottles so maybe these two go together better. Um, let's put down my DIY table and I can start customizing some items. I've found some really cool custom designs for this. So for this truck I've found this custom design it's got like milk bottles and it looks like there's a window in the truck and we're selling milk out of that window. Here it is. How perfect. Then we've got this standing shop sign and I found this custom design that says milk on it and it's got a cow. I love it. It's so well done. And I thought I would use these decorative bottles as milk bottles and I'm going to put that milk design on some of those as well. And for this milk can, which is an awesome two winner item, you have the choice of a few designs here already so you don't even need to download a custom design. I think they're so good. Okay, so let's try put this truck down. I feel like I'm going to get really annoyed with that cliff that's in front of this build because it's kind of in the way. Didn't really think about that, did I? <laughs> it's a bit late now, but oh yes. How good is that design? I love it and I love it. They had an option with, I don't know if what it's meant to be, maybe yogurt or something with the blue lids because there's going to be some blue in this build and that really ties in well. Up here we can, actually, let me think first. I'm probably going to want some custom designs underneath. And that would make sense to do it first. So let's jump into the Island Designer app. What if I tried the in-game light dirt path with custom designs on top? That might actually be cool. Now, where did that counter go? This one. So if we have that like there and then the truck in the back, I think that will work right there. Um, okay, and then let's put some of those decorative bottles down here. Yes, so good. And then I was thinking the milk carton, although I don't know if the two together are going to go well. This one, carton beverage. is kind of cute. Do those work? I don't know if like the two different blues work. I will leave them there for now just so they're out of my inventory but yeah I'm not 100% sure on those two. I might move the carton but that's okay for now and then we'll put some of the milk cans down. That is just such a cool item. I love it. wonder if I need to extend this patch out a little bit. It could maybe be one space wider or will that look too wide? It's okay if things go off the edge. I might 
might put another milk bottle over here. Actually, maybe I'll put one of these white ones on that side because my other one, I've got some like black font on it. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll put the other one here. Yeah, I really don't like these together, so I might take one off. I might even put something different here. I've got the stacked bottle crates. Yes, I love that item. I wonder if that would look good on top of that. I mean, it does look better because they're separated, but I'm still not sure on that. Okay, so we've got her little stall set up. And now we can probably fill in this area. I was going to do like a seating spot in front of our house where you can sit down and like drink the milk. But have I left enough room? Not really. But it could just be a small table like right here. So maybe I should do a path leading up to her house first. And then we can see if we can fit like a seating area really not sure um i did think about using these in front of her house just for something different because i don't think i've used these yet maybe get rid of this one oh, i really don't have room for a seating area no that's okay we'll, we'll try squeeze it in still even if it's just cushions and like a low zen table or something and then let's put in a pathway leading from the entrance to this area using this custom design path Now, I think I've got a Zen table on me, so let's see if it will fit. Oh, sorry, not the Zen table. I brought one from Nooks before, that's why I was saying that, but it's the Rattan Low table. That could work because the river sticks out there. Or, actually, the other idea I had was the antique wooden table. Oh, that is really cute, and I think it really matches the colors we've got going on. And then we can just put one chair, and there's definitely enough room. Yes. I did want to drink and some cookies, but this can only fit one thing. It's not too bad. Or I had the mum's tea cozy. That's very cute. I might leave that actually. Okay, now what else are we going to put in the area? Maybe some trees behind her house. I feel like one in this gap here would be perfect. I could put a cedar tree here possibly, if it's going to let me. <gasps> Yay! Yeah, I think that will look good behind her house. Maybe the cookies can go up here. Because milk and cookies definitely go together. And I don't want to use another antique register because I've used quite a few of them. I can put a tree on this side. Maybe like right here. I might jump ahead to the next day now so we can have Tipper's house. And that will kind of help us know what else we need in this area. Okay, we're on the next day. Let's go have a look. I think it's going to look very pretty. Oh, that's so cute. How well does that go together? I actually really like that. This is what we've got. What else can we add to this area? I've got the simple wooden fencing. I could maybe put a piece of it here, but I'll just put a custom design underneath first. Maybe just my usual clover. So we could put a little picket fence here. Cute. Now, do we want any more of it? Not there, but maybe, yeah, that could work. I do have a milk sign as well that I can use. If I put some more designs underneath, we could maybe put it right here. Although that's kind of in line with those bottles that say milk on them. Hmm, what if I move these bottles? Maybe instead of having this really cute tea set, maybe I should put the card in here. It does make sense, but I do really love that tea set. Oh, that is cute though. I think it works. And then I could put the bottles that say milk on here. Maybe the plain ones here. I think that's okay. And then yeah, put the sign in this spot here. I do like that. Now I do have some of the string lights. I like when they peek out from behind a house. Party lights. Why do I always call them string lights? I don't know. I think one space over would look better because then you wouldn't see that pole. But I don't want to go moving everything else just so that can fit. So yeah, I think that's okay. Let me put some flowers down and some bushes and we'll see what else the area needs. I thought maybe some rope fencing around this could be cute. Unsure, but we'll give it a go. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that actually works. I've got some weeds, so we can put those around. They always help to fill in all those little gaps. And some custom designs as well. Okay, well, I think the area is all done, so let's go take a look. And I like to kind of show like how an area leads on to a new build. So starting at the entrance, which 
I'm not 100% happy with. I've taken items out and put items in. I don't know. It's just not perfect. But anyway, starting from the entrance, we lead through to Tipper's little area. So she's got her table out the front so she can sit down and drink some milk. I don't know if that's kind of weird that she's drinking her own milk. That's probably kind of weird, but... <laughs> The idea made sense in my head. <laughs> and then we've got her little milk stand over here where she sells her milk. <laughs> oh, very strange. But anyway, I think it works. And I think this turned out really cute. And I can see the tip is home at the moment. It'd be very perfect if she walked out of her house. <laughs> oh my gosh, she came out. She came out. Tipper, stay there, please. Well, at least I got a couple of shots of Tipper there, although the colour of her shirt really didn't match. But that is fine. She looked great in her new yard. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this build and I hope it inspires you to make something similar on your island. I would love to see photos if you do make something like this, so please feel free to send them through to me on Instagram, which is at JacintaPlays. I would be very happy to see them. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like this build. I'm so pleased I have Tipper on my island now. I've had this idea for quite a long time, so I'm glad I could finally make it all come together. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this build and thanks for watching. Bye!